Our methods may have to change. But our message remains the same. Let me give you four instance. Did you know that many of the hymns that are in our hymn books today were once considered vulgar? They were once considered vulgar. The great hymn writers of the Reformation wrote beautiful words that God inspired them to write. And you know what they added them to? The tunes of barroom songs. And so some of the great hymns of today were written to the tunes of popular barroom songs in the 17th, 18th century. I find this interesting because it, it reminds me of how we, we listen to some music today, some new music that will become the standards for many decades to come. But the songs that, that we cherish today that were written so long ago, back then they were accepted about, about as well as a root canal. You know, people in religious leadership, they didn't care for those songs. Some of those songs that maybe you and I don't care for will probably be revered in some day in the future, just like Amazing Grace and all hail the power of Jesus' name. And I say all of that to say that change is not always a bad thing. 